Hello friends, today we are discussing one more concept, lightning arresters or such diversions. These lightning arresters, where will we use one by one, we are discussing. If you go for the lightning arresters, the lightning arresters mainly you are using, one is the building areas and the second one is the transformer areas or substations areas, we are using this lightning arresters. Mainly you are using these two locations, the lightning arresters are using. If you go for the, why it will cause the high voltage? The high voltage causes may be classified in two types. One is called internal cause. Second one is called external cause. The internal cause, how it will produce the high voltage? One is the switching operation. Second one is the insulation failure. Third one is the arcing grounding. Fourth one is the resonance. Because of these four reasons, the internally high voltage is produced because of these four reasons. If you go for the external, one is the lightning. Lightning means it's a, in rain season, heavy lightning, heavy lightning it will come in. This is uh, this uh, the external reason uh, lightning arrestors because of the high voltage it will be produced. Basically, uh, how to calculate the rating of lightning arrestors? The rating of lightning arrestors is equal to line to line voltage into 1.1 into coefficient of everything. Coefficient of everything. If it is a line to line voltage, it is a line to line voltage. If it is a 33 kV, 1.1 into coefficient of everything 8, it will be coming 30 kV. If the operating voltage is 33 kV, the lightning arrestor rating it will be required 30 kV. If you go for the 11 kV, if you go for the operating voltage is 11 kV. 9 kV lightning 9 kV lightning arrestor is required. These lightning arrestors mainly we are using in this uh, uh, transformer areas or uh, substations we are using. What how to calculate the flash over voltage? The flash over voltage uh, the flash uh, the power frequency flash over voltage is equal to 1.5 times of the lightning arrestors rating. The rating of the lightning arrestors. The lightning arrestors may be classified so many types. The types of lightning arresters, if you go to the rod gap arresters, spare gap arresters, horn gap arresters, multi gap arresters, implosive protection gap arresters, electrolyte arresters, explosive type arresters, the value type lightning arresters, thyroid type lightning arresters, auto value lightning arresters, and the oxide film lightning arresters, and the metal oxide lightning arresters. These are all the so many types of the lightning arresters is there in our market as for our usage we are using. Next if you go for the LT side. If you go for the low voltage side. Low voltage side mainly PVSS one second one is called SPD. The TVSS is nothing but transient voltage such suppressions. This TVSS we are using in LT bus section in camera we are connected this TVSS it will be transient voltage such suppressions high voltage it will come it will be suppressed after it will go to the SPD the SPD is nothing but SPD we are using in UPSS such protection device SPD is nothing but such protection device we are using UPSS mainly UPS uh, systems we are using this SPDC means such protection Devices. 